Alright, so another latest player home for you here. It's Darkwater Lodge. It's been on Skyrim Nexus now since about the f about the start of August, I believe. Um, and it basically adds new player home, situated here near Iverstead. And when you start the mod for the first time, you get a nice fast travel point to the Dark Lodge, Darkwater Lodge house, sorry, which teleports you just to the road outside down here. And as you can see. As said by the model of this page, there is a few saber cats about. Uh, luckily, some stormcloaks are here when I turned up and they killed it for me. And they had an armored wolf as well, which I've never seen before. So that might be some other mod that I've got on, which is quite cool. And basically, just up the path here, we get to the house. And there's a cool little sign outside saying for sale, which is a really nice little feature. Click on the sign, and you are then able to purchase the house. Um, there's a little blurb saying the property is for sale. It comes fully furnished and equipped with many features to rec um, to recommend it to the discerning purchaser. The price of this property is just 18,000 septims. Do you wish to purchase? And I do. Okay, so the following items have been added to your inventory. The deed to Darkwater Lodge, a message from the vendor's agent, the gate key, the house key, and may the divines bless and guide you in your new home. Which is quite a nice little feature, and that's cool. The sign changes to Darkwater Lodge. So that's pretty cool. So now we can enter the property and take a look around. I just want to see if those things have been added to my inventory. Always best to check these things. Oh yeah, the deed to Darkwater Lodge. Cool. So that's a nice little touch as well. I do like that. It's pretty cool. Attention to detail is one of my main things with these player homes. I do like it. So let's have a look inside. Let's open this gate. Like so. Thank you very much. Let's take a look around the outside of the house. So I'm just going to go over this little bit of rockage area here. And we have a standard shopping block. And an absolute fantastic view on this side of... Whoa. That's pretty cool. Really quite nice. And some areas to plant some um, items. So, for example, I'll just plant some bleeding crown there. And there we go. See a little hump rise there, that means it's been planted and that will grow over time, which is quite cool. I do like that addition that's been made by Half Fire. I didn't realise that was from the Half Fire DLC until just recently. I thought it was a cool little <laughs> something that someone had made themselves, but let's just, just put some more things in here. I can only place one at a time, but for speed I'm just clicking A to everything. Okay, so over here we have a nice little um <clears throat> barbecue area actually, which is cool. I have not seen a barbecue yet, that's pretty mint. Really nice place to sit and eat as well, looking out over there. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Okay. So some beehives. Let's see what we can do here. We get some bees and honeycombs from there, that's cool. Surrounded by lavender. Bees love lavender, so that's a really common place to put it. I didn't mean common, I meant sensible place to put it. Oh, and a nice little outdoor sauna. Very cool. Use seat on edge of the pool. Oh, that's cool. You can sit and soak your feet after a hard day's travel around Skyrim. Very nice. Pretty cool. And we get out of here. There we go. So it's a really nice laid out um, area here. It's really quite cool. Very quite pleasant. Nice nice use of colour as well everywhere. The trees and the uh, plants and stuff. It's really quite scenic. Um, there's a gate here. I should have a check through here. Oh, cool. Oh. That's pretty fancy. Get a nice view of the waterfall from here as well. That's really cool. This, this mod is going very well for the very scenic base. This mod. Oh, can I can I go anywhere here? Oh god. Okay, now I'm traveling. Oh, that is cool. Can I now? If I really wanted to, I can now jump down here. Wow. Okay, I'm liking that. Oh, this leads down to a chest as well. I did not see that. So looking here. Some dwarven arrows, some heavy dwarven arrows. Very nice. Let's go back up top. So, yeah, liking this mod so far. Very nice. Some cool little features. Nice little paddy area here for maybe a horse or something. A shrine of Talos as well. Which you know, horses are quite spiritual, so that's why there's a statue there. Ooh, I've not seen red cotton, tundra cotton before. I'm taking some of that. Right. Requires a key. I have a key. Okay, let's look inside the house. Ok. 
Okay, here we are. As you can see, nice, nice lighting inside. Very homely. It looks quite modern inside, actually. The uh, sofa there looks really quite modern. I've not actually used much of Half-Eye yet, so I'm not sure if maybe that's the sort of um, chairs and stuff that mod adds. But really quite nice looking living room here. Really nice. I like these little statues on top of here. They're pretty cool. And all the small shields as well. They're pretty nice. Oh, some pretty cool pictures as well. That waterfall looks quite cool because it looks like it could be the one outside. Which is really quite nice. Oh, what's this here? Alright, okay, some nice little cool storage areas. So, miscellaneous storage. And then some for dragon claws and some scrolls. Which is quite cool because they've got actually the scrolls in there as well. So, that makes sense. I like, I like this globe. Oh, is that a map of Tamriel? It is. That is awesome. That's really cool. I've not seen that before. Again, that might be something that's added by half -Fire. If it's not, it's a fantastic achievement to put that in. Okay, let's take a look. Oh my god. Serious? Are those windows... Am I looking outside now? Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. Whoa. That is awesome. I really like that. Okay, so this must be the cooking and al oh look at that. That's a really nice, neatly set out alchemy table. That is really quite fantastic. <laughs> look how neat that is. I don't know why that attracts me, because I'm not really that neat in the real life, but you know. In Skyrim I like things to be in their right place. And you get some nice little things to uh, activate miscellaneous storage. Some nice little storage areas, that's cool. And a nice oven to bake your bread. To make some nice food. I do like the ovens that have been added by Half Life, and they're pretty cool. It's actually really a uh, nice DLC that I didn't know existed until. Well, I didn't know it existed, but I didn't know really know it added until recently. Wow, cool! Little, um, <laughs> some little Dwemer spider there. Flower storage, nice. Gemstone storage. Alchemy and enchanting recipes. Interesting. And nice little places to store your items. I don't know where this mod is. This I'm not sure if this mod is compatible with general stores. It'd be nice if it is, but I'm not entirely sure. General stores is a like cloud storage sort of um, mod. Um, if you've not known that, it's just type general stores Nexus into Google and have a look. I do like this. <laughs> I'm just walking around it, but I do like this little lantern here. It's pretty cool. It's really really nice. All right, let's take a look upstairs, shall we? Nice little study area. Here's the ledger of the uh, my. Um, Documentation for my income, possibly. So over here. Okay, so this must be the master bedroom. Oh, a mannequin there. Cool. Nice little figurines and stuff on top of the uh, bookcases. Pretty nice. And again, it's a very neatly laid out um, place. You've got a nice little window here, so you can look out, look downstairs. <laughs> That's a cool little uh, dressing table, and a bed, and a chest. Really, really quite nice. Simple yet. Nicely detailed. I do like that. Let's go outside, shall we? Awesome. This place is friggin' massive. I do like these little, uh, these big leaves here as well. It's cool. Okay. Ah, oh, chessboard. Did not see that then. Oh, that is awesome. What is that? What are the pieces? I can see a dragon. Oh, and Charis. Ah, oh, cool. Like that. Nice little mill uh, grindstone here, grain mill. Let's take a look around here. This seems to be the crafting area here with all the forge and the smelter. Let's see if there's anything in the chest. No, that's for my ores. That's nice. Okay. It's a little dark around this area. Um, let's just check the time. It may be affected by the time. Yes, it is. Whoa, you can see the night sky. That's cool. That is friggin' awesome. I really like that. I'm so pleased by simple things, but it's just a nice real touch that. It's just... I'm really enjoying this mod, actually. I think I might keep it on. Okay, let's take a look at this house here. I'm guessing this is for the children, possibly? Yes, yes it is. This seems to be for the children and or followers, possibly. It's a nice little outhouse, really. <laughs> keep them away from the main house. Out of trouble. Really nice. Let's uh, close that door. Okay, so it's down here. Oh, a nice little bridge across the pond area. That's cool. 
I'm liking it. I'm just going to change to an uh, midday sort of time as well, so we can really see this place in its full glory. Okay, so it's about 10 in the morning now, and it's a lot brighter out here, as you can see. And it really looks a lot better. Um, <laughs> probably should have noted what time it was before I started uh, doing this. Oh, there's an out sink outside. That's cool. Oh, is this a toilet? Can I use it? <laughs> oh, God. The simple things, eh? Can I flush it as well? Oh, no, I can't. That'd be friggin' awesome if I could. Okay, so it does look quite nice outside. I love these flower arrangements. They're pretty cool. Add some really nice colour to the place. But this is the real main feature, isn't it? Look up there. That is so cool. Okay, it's like a wonder down here. Let's see what other wonders and fascinations there are in the garden area. Nice well with a bench. And over here we have another bench. And down here, what do we have here? Is this a... T oh. This is the changing locker for Follower 3. I've not read what these do actually on the models page yet. I was a bit too eager to try the mod out. Oh, I believe these are used to manage, a, manage your followers. So, <coughs> we have player changing locker, which is mine. So I believe I just put my clothes in there. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 followers. Up to, up to 10 follower lockers. So that's a really cool little feature. Um, I have noted that there may be some conflicts with some of the follower mods, um, but I think there is a workaround for some of those. So check that out on the mod authors page. And as you see, there's a nice pond area here. I'm just going to uh, jump in. <laughs> Let's see if there's any head hidden treasures. There's a little rope to get out as well, which is quite cool. Okay, no hidden treasures, but still a nice little area. So yeah, this is Dark Water Lodge. Really nice player home. Really fantastic. Look how look how cool this looks. It's just so neat and tidy as well. It's just really nice. Can I sit on the sofa? I can sit on the sofa. It'd be a bit stupid if I couldn't sit on the sofa, wouldn't it? Look at that. Really nice player home. Oh, is this a door? And there's a place I haven't been yet. There's another bedroom in here. Okay, so this will be the kids' room, won't it? Yeah, little toy horse. So this is the kids' room, and the one outside must be the f followers, which makes even more sense. Huh, <laughs> cool. I love little love, love little features like that. I don't know why. Such a sad sad person. <laughs> toy box. Ooh, I can search it. <laughs> okay, so let's take a little look outside and finish up. See if there's anything I've missed. Okay. Let's take a little look. Can I go any more this way? No. Oh, how silly of me. It's the closest gate. Yeah, don't want any friggin' trespassers, do we? I'm gonna go over there. Oh! I've got a cow. Did not see that before. Open. Hello! Oh, some chickens! Hi. And you played some eggs for me. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh! Don't you dare go out there. You stay in here. Don't you pull that tone with me. Silly cow. Close the gate. Yeah, stay inside. God. Okay, so that is Dark Water Lodge. Player home for Skyrim and requires Harfire. Really nice, simple, but yet really well detailed mod. Absolutely fantastic. Um, definitely worth a check out. If you do like the look of this mod from this video, please do head over to the mod office page and read the description and see all the loads of pictures that he's got set up there. And of course, if you do download and use, please do endorse. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.